Before the 20th century, the earliest known Bible dated to the 9th and 10th century CE, the Middle Ages. But then, in 1947, a Bedouin shepherd made a discovery that is still revolutionizing the world's understanding of the Bible. A Bedouin boy was looking for a lost goat and wandered uh, up to the opening to a cave. And he, uh, in the course of looking for his goat, took a piece of stone and threw it into the cave. And instead of hearing it crash among other stones, he heard the ping of pottery. He looked into the cave and saw a row of tall cylindrical jars covered with bowl-shaped lids. The exact details of the discovery are somewhat shrouded in mystery, but this cave became known as Cave One, and altogether the Bedouin removed seven complete or nearly complete scrolls. Over the next decade, archaeologists found several hundred more scrolls in neighboring caves in the area of Qumran, an ancient settlement of a religious sect overlooking the Dead Sea. Nearly all 39 books of the Hebrew Bible are represented, at least in fragments. Based on the paleography, the style of writing, and radiocarbon tests, scientists date some of the earliest scrolls to perhaps the 3rd century BC. Until the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls, the earliest copies of the Hebrew Bible that we had dated to the 9th and 10th centuries AD, to the Middle Ages. Whereas the books that we have from Qumran date to before the time of Jesus, and therefore they take us back much closer to the time when the Hebrew Bible was actually edited and written down.